on bubble and in this video I'll be explaining about the basic concept of momentum. What is momentum? Imagine you have two baguettes of water. One is 20 kilograms and another one is 2 kilograms with the same height to reach the floor of 200 meters and it has the same speed of coming toward the earth. Which bucket would you choose to carry if it falls down? Of course, everybody would choose to carry the 2 kilo buckets because it has less momentum. Momentum. Momentum is defined as the product of mass and velocity and it represents by the symbol of P and the formula is P equal to mv. So momentum is considered as a vector because the velocity is a vector so therefore the direction of the momentum is equal to direction of velocity. SI units of momentum is kilometer times meter per second. For example, a fast moving car has more momentum than a slow moving car of the same mass or a heavy truck has more momentum than a small car moving with the same speed. The more momentum an object has, the harder it is to stop it. A force is required to change the momentum of an object, whether to increase the momentum, to decrease it, or to change its direction. The rate of change of momentum of an object is equal to the net force applied to it. Therefore, we can write the equation as force equal to the change between momentums over the time in that interval. Okay, so we're going to do the example question where after reading the question, we can identify that we need to use the F average formula of F equal to delta P divided by delta T. And we can simplify delta P into mv2 minus mv1 divided by delta T. And then substitute the number inside where m is 0 0.060 and that v is 55 meter per second. And then m we already know and that v1 we don't have because it's the initial velocity. So it will be 0 divided by the T we got, which is 4 ms or 0 0.004. And then we got around 800 newton. But to know if it will be large enough for 60 kilo person, we're just going to use the formula of mg, where m represents the mass of a person of 60 kilo, and g is the earth gravity, so it's 9.8, and it, after we got, we will get around 600 newton. This actually simplifies that it is large enough for a 60 kilo person, because what we can receive is around 800 newtons, and this person is just 600 newtons. Moving on to talk about the conservation of momentum. The concept of momentum is particularly important because if no net external force acts on a system, the total momentum of the system is a conserved quantity. In the head-on collision, we can take an example of a billiard ball where the ball A is moving toward the ball B and they collide each other and then they went back with the same momentum. So this is what the law of conservation of momentum is meant to be. The formula that we usually use is this one, the momentum before equal to the momentum after. The total vector momentum of the system of two colliding bar is conserved, meaning that it stays constant. So next we're gonna be talking about the example question for momentum conserved. So this question, we can see that it is given up an explanation where we can draw a picture. So let's start by drawing a picture up before collision, where it is given of a car A and car B. And before collision, we can understand that car A is moving at a speed of 24 meter per second while car B is at rest, meaning that the speed of the car B is at zero or V is at zero. But car A, V is at 24 meter per second. And for the after collision, where this one is when car A already went to collide with car B. And right now they just want us to find the V prime, v prime of what is the value of that V prime, what is the result. So to find the result, we need to use the formula. So P initial, we're going to state it as P initial is equal to MAVA plus MBVB equal to MA. VA because car B is at rest initially, so the direction is to the right in the plus x direction. So after the collision, the two car become attached, so they will have the same speed called V prime. The total momentum after the collision will be B P final is equal to M A plus M B V prime. So P final and P initial will be equal together. So therefore, M A V A is equal to M A plus M B V prime. And so to solve for V prime, we just obtain V prime equal to MA divided by MA plus MB VA. So it's just like some moving of the 
formula in order to get 1B prime. And just now we're gonna substitute number inside where our MA is given of 10,000 kilometer kilograms. I'm sorry. And then divided by MA of 10,000 kilograms plus MB of 10,000 kilograms because all the mass are the same times VA, which we already know of 24 meter per second. So therefore the answer is 12 meter per second. So V prime or the result is 12 meter per second to the right. Next, we'll be going to talk about collisions and impulse. During a collision of two ordinary objects, both objects are usually deformed due to the involvement of the large forces. Impulse. Impulse is the product of the force F times the time delta T over which the force acts. In other terms, the formula of impulse is F times delta T. A unit is Newton times seconds. In the field of impulse, if you apply force on an object, then the object moves, then it means that the object will gain some momentum. When an object loses its momentum, then it must be importing force. So these are the basics of the momentums and please click the like button and share this video. Thank you!